this video I'm going to show you how you can register a company tipping online on the ZRA website. The first thing you want to do is go on the ZRA website. Then uh, on the left menu, which is around this side, go where it says tipping registration and click on that. And from this drop down menu, select download template. So just download that and open it up. Okay, after it has finished downloading, simply open it up. So simply, it's an Excel document, so simply open it. Once you open it, you're going to see this highlighted part which says protected view. Simply click enable editing. Once you've clicked enable editing, it's going to give you a new highlighted uh, part which say select uh, enable content. Then it gives you this uh, dialog box which says you cannot cut or copy any values. Just say OK. So what you have is uh, you've got a part AB. So part AB, as I said, consult a tax advisor who advise you on which taxes to register for. And uh, also this is where you're going to select whether it's a company, a club, church or anything on this part here. So it's basically straightforward. Once you've finished uh, part AB, you go to section AB. Here you're going to list the business name, trading name, uh, pack business registration number, date of commencement of business and uh, nature of business activity. So this is where it creates a lot of problems. On business name, get it from the PACRA certificate. And if you put the limited in full, sometimes if you put LTD, it gives problems. Business registration number should be a 12 digit number. If it's an old company or organization, go on the PACRA website, do a search, it will give you the full 12 digit number. Date of commencement of business, people like to put the date of the stamp. That is wrong. It's the date the certificate is issued you will see it on the certificate. Nature of business activity, this is another one that gives problems. Make sure you use this information which you get from PACRA or ZRA. Get it printed out if it's an old company. If it's a new company registered, you will have that information. Another thing that gives errors, if you're registering for turnover tax, your estimated turnover should be below 800,000 kwacha terms and conditions apply so please consult a tax advisor if you put 800,000 for turnover tax it might give an error and request for you to put uh, to go with income tax so please consult before you put that up so section C you're going to key in the details of the organization that's the address contact number and all that here where it says is your mailing address same as your physical address if you say yes it will duplicate this information below. Then it's going to ask for the details of your principal contact person. Put the details of one person who is going to be the, your principal contact. Okay, so at the bottom part here, where you're going to list the business uh, officials, the directors, partners, or whatever, choose the ID type. And when it comes to NRC numbers, do not put the slashes in case it's one, two, three, four, five, six, slash eleven, slash one. You're just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, one. This creates problems. If you put the dash dash, it's going to give you an error message later on. So be sure not to put the dashes. Put in the title, names, uh, and all that. Uh, all the way here, you put in the mobile number, the email addresses. Bottom here, you put uh, the business assets. And once you're done, you can go on to part C and uh, click validate. If you're using a tax agent, put their tip in here. If not, ignore it and just put uh, click validate once you click validate it basically goes through the entire document checking for any error miss any errors or omissions on your part if there are errors it's going to tell you and then you can go back to make changes but since there are no errors on mine i can simply say here do you, your sheet is validated successfully do you want to generate upload sheet you say yes so what's going to happen is that it's going to create a new separate excel sheet and the one that is created is the one that you are actually going to upload on the ZR website. So registration upload, I'll give it a file name here. Okay, so this is what you're going to upload. Come back to ZR page. Again, under tipping registration, now go for register for tipping. It brings you onto this page where you have to select what exactly are registering, whether it's a new form or you're continuing from a previous registration. In this case, it's a new form. So once you've done that, so you simply come down here, key in the name of the 
applicant which is the company name email address that you're going to use your mobile number and then do this mathematics which is here register for OTP it then tells me that my an email has been sent with an OTP to my email address it never goes to the mobile number so you always have to have an email address once you click OK it brings you to this page and it's going to ask you to enter the OTP that you have received in your email so go into your email get the OTP paste it here and verify once you have verified the OTP it brings you to this page where you have to select your town in this case uh, I'm choosing Osaka taxpayer services Osaka TPS choose your town select the file that Excel file that you had uh, just saved once you have agreed to the terms and conditions simply upload it's going to tell you are you sure yes it has found no errors in my uploaded form so I can now submit it then gives you a reference number in the search code then continue to document upload this is where you're going to upload the PACRA certificate click search it then tells you what documents you need to upload certificate of share capital certificate of incorporation companies form 2 and a sketch map of physical address so I've already created them so all I have to do is select certificate of share capital on the drop down menu pick certificate of share capital search for it on the computer so this is certificate of share capital I've saved it as a PDF click upload okay so once it gets uploaded you will see it indicated here when it's done you go to the next one certificate of incorporation once you have uploaded everything uh, if you've made a mistake you can delete and then re-upload so this is the time that you have to really check that you have uh, uploaded the correct documents if you haven't delete 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 upload again once you have confirmed click on submit it tells you this is a final submit of documents and you will not be allowed to make any further modifications in the documents uploaded are you sure you want to proceed if yes say okay if not cancel it tells you that it has been submitted successfully you say okay okay once you're finished you can check your email and you have received one from uh, ZRA which will give you a reference number and a search code you will need these just in case you need to follow up your tipping application if there's a problem anywhere once the tipping is approved your ZRA will email you telling you that approval of tipping application to give you the reference number tell you what your tipping is and there will be three attachments the first attachment will be your tipping certificate the second attachment will be a, a tipping registration approval notice a turnover tax approval notice or approval notice of whichever tax type you applied for so that is how you apply for a tip in online thanks for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below mulos bye